Sarawak, a Malaysian state on Borneo, stretches along the island's northwest coast, including many beaches on the South China Sea. The capital city, Kuching, is the economic center of the state and the seat of the Sarawak state government. Other cities and towns in Sarawak include Miri, Cebu, and Bintulu. Sarawak's economic structure is well diversified despite its heavy dependency on the commodity sectors. Thanks to the rich natural resources, primary sectors such as mining, agriculture and forestry continue to be the key drivers of its economy. Inland transportation services cover both full container load and less than full container load by rail, barge or road. Unfortunately, Sarawak does not have any railway stations due to its geographical that not allow Sarawak to have any railways. Sarawak does meet with maritime inland transportation although of not having railway station to deliver the products. Nevertheless, Sarawak are fully depending on road by using trucks to distribute their goods. Moreover, even though the trucks are facing difficulties to comply with door-to-door -door movement of cargoes and reliable services in the rural areas, it will more or less affecting by the time that will absolutely contribute to the delaying of the cargo to the customer. Most important is that they do not view this issue as a huge matter since Sarawak geographical location contribute to the delays of the cargo. Sarawak is a strongly export oriented where their economy is susceptible to global community prices. As Bintuluput has been granted as Petronas Supply Base License for mining and quarrying sector which contribute to the major exports of commodities with 52.1% for LNG in year 2015. Not only that, Sarawak can also produce early petrol products such as rice from paddy rice and barley rice to fulfill their basic needs. They also produce vegetables, peppers, forest products and all palm plantation to produce palm oil and palm kernel oil as their export commodities. Sarawakian manufacture their own foods and beverages that are not strange for us to hear such as Sarawak layer cakes, keropok leku, spices, instant noodles, belacan and much more. Due to their geographical structure, they cannot provide train to distribute their goods. Transportation in Sarawak is by using haulage, truck or trailer. One of the famous haulage company in Sarawak is AST Logistic Berhad, which provide door-to-door -door distribution of goods. According to Madam Atika, the branch head of AST Logistic in Sarawak, it is impossible for Sarawak to have a train as a transportation and they only use road and haulage to provide their services. As a result, the application of Blue Banana and Synergy concepts can enhance Sarawak level as the best place for business investment. As a solution to increase trade road in Sarawak, we can adapt the concept of Blue Banana that has been developed in 1939 by Reckless, a group of French geographers managed by Roger Brunet. By using the Blue Banana concept, we can subdivide Sarawak into active and passive spaces which is we can make reference to an urban corridor of industry and services stretching from Miri, Bintulu and Kuching. In this view, we can create a lot of transportation link between these three corridors to enhance the effectiveness of trade route in Sarawak. We also can apply a synergy concept in this solution. This synergy concept also can be applied in Sarawak when haulage that want to send goods from Miri to Kuching can stop at Bintulu. While the haulage from Kuching that want to distribute their goods to Miri also can stop at the same point in Bintulu to exchange their goods with each other. As an advantage, this process directly can cut the cost of transportation in order to enhance effectiveness distribution process in Sarawak. This synergy concept also can be applied in coastal areas in Sarawak by using a coastal ship like a feeder vessel. 
As a result, the application of Blue Banana and Synergy concepts can enhance Sarawak level as the best place for business investment. Their culture, customs, uniqueness of the nature, independence and innovative behaviour, we believe that all these elements will become our stress in order to put Malaysia as a developed country in the United Nations.